a beginner's guide to racing pigeons, getting started and selecting the right pigeons. The sport of racing pigeons, also known as pigeon racing, has been around for centuries and continues to captivate enthusiasts around the world. While racing pigeons may seem like a simple hobby on the surface, there is actually quite a bit of complexity, skill, and knowledge required to be successful. From understanding pigeon genetics and anatomy to mastering loft construction and training techniques, pigeon racing requires dedication and know-how. This advanced guide will provide an in-depth look at the key aspects of the sport, using precise terminology and delving into the intricate details. We will cover critical topics like breed selection, loft design, diet, exercise regimen, race training, and more. The goal is to equip the reader with the tools and understanding needed to excel at this fascinating pastime. Whether you are looking to get started with your first pigeons or take your racing to the next level, this guide will help set you on the path to becoming an expert pigeon racer. Breeds of racing pigeons. One of the most important decisions you will make is selecting your breed of pigeons. There are several major breeds used in racing today, each with their own advantages and flight characteristics. Key racing breeds include Cyan, originating in Belgium, Cyans are known for their homing ability and speed. They excel at sprint and middle distances but lack endurance for longer races. Cyans feature a large wingspan relative to their body size. Delbar, hailing from Spain, Delbars are muscular pigeons with a powerful flight. They perform well at middle to long distances and are intelligent birds. The Delbar flight pattern involves rapid wing beats. Jansen, developed by the legendary pigeon racer Louis Jansen, Jansens are small to medium-sized pigeons valued for long-distance races. Their diminutive size helps with endurance and efficiency in the air. Jansens have a distinctive ice blue-colored eye. Jansen x Fabri, a popular cross between the Jansen and Fabri breeds, these pigeons exhibit the best traits of both lines, the homing ability of Fabris and the stamina of Jansens. This mix produces consistent, well-rounded racers. Fabri, originating from Belgium-like Cyans, Fabris are built for speed. They excel at sprint racing with muscular bodies and large chests. Due to their sleek physique, they can reach very high speeds but tire easily. In general, local or sprint races favor speed breeds like Cyans and Fabris while national or international races demand the endurance of Jansens, Delbars, and Jansen hybrids. Consider the race distances you plan to fly when selecting your breed. Anatomy and Physiology To understand what makes an exceptional racing pigeon, it is important to first comprehend the anatomy and physiology adapted specifically for powered flight. Key areas of interest include Skeletal system, the avian skeletal structure is incredibly lightweight to minimize weight in flight. Key bones like the sternum, humerus, and collar bone are pneumatized with hollow air sacs. The leg bones and feet are small relative to the body size. Muscular system, the major flight muscles are the pectoralis and supracoracoideus which power the wing downstrokes. These muscles account for up to 25% of a pigeon's body mass. Their proportion is one of the highest of all vertebrates adapted for sustained flight. Respiratory system, racing pigeons have an intricate system of air sacs and hollow avian lungs which drive their tremendous oxygen intake needed in flight. This system also pneumatizes many of their bones. Cardiovascular system, a pigeon's heart rate can reach over 600 beats per minute during flight. Their cardiac and vascular systems are extremely efficient at transporting oxygen. Digestive system, digestion is very rapid with food passing through the entire gastrointestinal tract in under 2 hours in racing pigeons. This allows them to maximize food energy while minimizing weight. Careful breeding over generations has enhanced the physiological attributes that make pigeons ideal for sustained, aerobic racing flight. An experienced breeder will recognize these qualities. Loft design and construction. The loft provides pigeons a safe roosting area and protects them from predators and the elements while also keeping them healthy. Loft design considerations include Size, the loft should provide at least 2 square feet of space per pigeon. Consider future growth plans when determining size. Materials, lofts are often constructed from wood, PVC, and wire mesh. Use rot-resistant woods and ensure mesh openings are appropriate for pigeon size. Roofing, overhangs, gables, and overlapping shingles help protect from precipitation and moisture accumulation inside the loft. Ventilation, good airflow is critical and tight lofts encourage buildup of dust, feathers, and manure. Position air inlets and outlets appropriately. Sunlight, natural light helps control bacteria but avoid direct sun which creates issues with overheating. Face inlets and windows north or east. Nest boxes, individual nest boxes with perches allow paired birds to breed. Use removable nest fronts for easy access and cleaning. Flooring, elevated flooring which allows waste to fall through is ideal. 
V perch flooring accomplishes this while still giving pigeons a place to roost. Stocking density, do not overcrowd the loft. 12 pairs of pigeons is a comfortable maximum for a loft size of about 80 to 100 square feet. The loft should have easy access for the caretaker to tend to the pigeons and maintain hygienic conditions. Careful loft planning will support pigeon health and training routines. Nutrition and feeding. Like any athlete, racing pigeons require optimal nutrition. The modern racing diet consists of three components. Pigeon grain mix, a blend of 11 to 13% protein grains like corn, peas, kibbled soy, safflower, barley, and oats. This provides key carbohydrates. Feed 28 to 30 grams per pigeon per day. Pigeon pellets, compressed pellets with 15 to 20% protein from sources like corn, wheat, rice, and soybean. Supports muscle development and recovery. Feed 5 grams per pigeon per day. Supplements, in the two weeks before a race, supplement with electrolytes, probiotics, vitamins E and C to support immunity and recovery. Electrolyte supplements also help rehydrate after races. Additional nutritional considerations. Calcium, sources like oyster shell and grit support bone and eggshell strength. Free feed once weekly. Foraging, scattering small amounts of feed in loft bedding encourages natural foraging behavior and prevents gorging. Water, fresh, clean water must be continually available. Position water stations at both floor level and elevated perches. Feed timing, feed twice daily but pull feed 8 hours before flying to prevent cramping. Meeting the dietary needs of racing pigeons gives them the nutritional base to perform and stay healthy under the demands of racing. Basketing and transportation. On race day, pigeons are basketed for transport to the race liberation point. Baskets are specialized ventilated cages, usually loaded onto customized vehicles. Key considerations for safe, low-stress transport. Fitted baskets. Snug-fitting baskets prevent pigeons thrashing about and injuring themselves. Allow two to three birds per standard crate. Interior padding, lined basket interior with foam, cloth, or cardboard to cushion pigeons during transport. Avoid newspaper ink. Loading, handle birds gently and briefly when removing from loft and loading into baskets. Minimize stress. Ventilation, baskets require ventilation holes at the top and sides to prevent buildup of heat, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and moisture during transport. Shelter from elements, keep baskets protected from extreme heat, cold, precipitation, and wind during transport. Use a covered, climate-controlled vehicle if necessary. Liberation order, line up baskets in the vehicle so that the liberation point handlers can release birds in the proper order without delay. Transport duration, transport pigeons in the early morning or evening to avoid warm daytime temperatures. Limit transit time to under 3 hours. Safe basketing and transport ensures pigeons arrive at the race point healthy, calm, and ready to fly. Training and conditioning. Rigorous training and conditioning translates into race day performance. Training should begin early, as yearlings coming into their second year. Core components include. Loft flying, release pigeons to fly freely around the loft daily, improving muscle tone, wing strength, and orientation skills. Start at 15 minutes, working up to 1 to 2 hours. Route training, take pigeons and training baskets increasingly further away from the loft to force homing flights back. Release them on route. Start within 1 kilometer expanding to beyond race distances. Landing board response, call or whistle to entice pigeons to promptly trap into the loft when called. Reward with feed. This becomes critical on race day. Simulated races, perform mock races on weekends to prepare pigeons, testing race readiness. Follow the same feeding, basketing, and handling routines. Fitness, maintain optimal body condition through diet and flying exercise. Monitor keel bone sharpness weekly. Supplement conditioning with vitamins. Motivation, ensure pigeons are highly motivated to return home quickly by making the loft welcoming with a familiar mate, fresh food and water. Record keeping, track training performance including time to return home and body conditioning. Gauge race readiness. Consistent, progressive training throughout the year instills the speed, efficiency, and determination to succeed on race day. Race rules and operation. Professional pigeon racing events are governed by national and regional organizations which standardize rules and procedures. Key racing conventions include Timing and clocks, races are timed using specialized electronic clocks activated by customized timing chips the pigeons carry. Times are precise to 1 1,000th of a second. Clocks are synchronized and sealed pre-race. Race distances, sprint races up to 300 km, middle distance 300 to 500 km, 
long distance 500 to 1000 km, and ultra long distance over 1000 km. Race distances vary by geography. Liberation time, pigeons are released as early as possible, often starting at sunrise, to maximize daylight and avoid the heat of midday. Liberation order, pigeons are basketed and released in sequence beginning with the farthest distances to reduce road congestion. Local flyers release last. Weather, liberations are postponed during poor weather. Ideal conditions are partly sunny, high visibility, tailwinds, and 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Shipping limits, entry number and shipping space limits prevent overcrowding transport vehicles and liberation sites. Limits range 10 to 30 birds per flyer. Strict adherence to established procedures and timing principles ensures all entrants compete on an equal basis and the integrity of the race is maintained. Race performance and evaluation. So what makes a champion racing pigeon? Key attributes include Homing ability, a pigeon must demonstrate the innate drive and navigational ability to return home from unfamiliar liberation points, even hundreds of kilometers away. This is the most prized racing trait. Speed, superior speed and pace is essential to be competitive. The highest performing pigeons maintain efficient, moderate flap gliding flight and reach air speeds over 65 miles per hour. Endurance, pigeons with high stamina can endure many hours or days in flight. Lung capacity, oxygen utilization, and aerobic conditioning enable this. Intelligence, the mental capacity to navigate unfamiliar terrain, adapt to conditions, and overcome fear or confusion separates great pigeons. Genetics, successful racers result from generations of careful breeding emphasizing performance and homing ability. The best producers pass these traits to offspring. By evaluating race results and breeder feedback against these benchmarks, a pigeon's racing prowess can be judged. Beyond winning, the most prized pigeons demonstrate the qualities needed to strengthen the breed overall. Conclusion Pigeon racing, while seeming simple on the surface, in fact integrates many complex skills like genetics, husbandry, training, and race logistics. Success requires extensive expertise across these interrelated domains. This advanced guide provides key principles and terminology on critical topics like breed selection, loft construction, diet, transportation, conditioning, and Are race standards. From acquiring your first pigeons to evaluating race performance, the knowledge here will set you firmly on the path to becoming an expert pigeon racer. While challenging, with dedication to learning and improving, pigeon racing can become a lifelong path. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment.